Just a few days before May 7th of last year, Lindsay Melvin had an idea. I texted my sister and I said, see, sir, do you want to go to the lake and look for bodies? <laughs> but what Melvin thought started as a joke became a reality. She and her sister arrived at Colville Bay in the morning, got on their paddle boards and headed to this peninsula where Melvin says she wanted to show her sister some beaver activity that she had spotted on a previous visit. Thank you. This way. Not Here, knowing they would be in for a big surprise. Within just a couple minutes of walking onto the, to the sand, we uh, found the, the skull. These are images Melvin took once they got closer. At first, they were unsure if it was of an animal or of a human. We dug around a little bit, just kind of tried to move the sand away from the bones. Um, it was when we saw the jawbone, that's when we knew for sure this was a human. About three months later, the Clark County coroner identified those remains as 42-year-old Thomas Ernt. I, I had anticipated that more would likely be found because of the extremely um, quick uh, water level drop that we experienced last summer. But this wasn't the first discovery of remains at Lake Mead. Just six days before, boaters found human remains inside of this barrel near Hemingway Harbor. Then, on July 25th, a third set of remains was found and confirmed to be human by Clark County officials. And on October 17th, a diver found human bones at Colville Bay. The coroner identified those remains as Donald Smith of North Las Vegas. It's honestly pretty disturbing. It's, it's bittersweet. I'm glad that um, some of these uh, bodies that have um, been found, uh, their families had gotten closure. As the water continues to drop, what is expected to be found on the shore remains a mystery. There's the jaw, there's the top part of the skull. Many like Lindsay say they have to pay close attention to where they step. I've found cell phones, watches, keys, um, but you know, this was definitely the first time we found human remains.